Well, you spent the whole winter here for the first time ever, I've understood. Uh, how did that go? Uh, it was it was great, you know. It was a little different. Uh, understanding how, you know, the snow can be a little difficult getting back and forth to workouts and training. But, you know, I managed to get through it and do what I have to do to prepare for the upcoming season. The Keg is your favorite restaurant. What are three of uh, your favorite restaurants maybe in the city? Uh, three. Well, no one on the Keg. A uh, new place that I discovered, well, I was put on is Scaroli's. It's in the West Island. And I would say Maiko Sushi or Maiko Sushi. I like sushi, so. You know, I, I feel like I could just be myself, meeting new people, and learning French is something that I took on, and I really appreciate the people that's been helping me, you know, learn the language. I like to do paintballing, I like go karting, and uh, I do a lot of the escape rooms. You know, at Action 300, I like to do that, you know, to challenge my brain and, you know, keep it going. Well, I just wanted to be closer to the team. I wanted to be in the community. I was doing a program with the LOS, the Ultimate Football, and we're going around to elementary schools, the English uh, Montreal elementary schools and French schools, and we're just teaching them, you know, the basics of football, which was pretty much Ultimate Frisbee without moving but throwing the ball and just exercising with the kids. I'm from Hempstead, Nassau County, Long Island. And where I'm from, there's a lot of negativity and things that you pretty much don't want to be around, as in drugs and violence and everything. And I'm just very appreciative of having the ability to play football to bring me here. And I just love the city because, you know, just the atmosphere, the people, and like I was talking about speaking French, you know, I feel like you get to meet more people and a lot of doors open up when you can speak another language. And, you know, just with that being said, that's why I stood here and stayed here for the entire off season. Only went home maybe twice, literally throughout the whole year. Uh, I'm excited going into the new season. We got a bunch of guys that's riled up and ready to go. Everyone has the same mentality and winning. We understand that in the past it was a lot of downfalls and, you know, mistakes that led us to losing games, but we feel like we're going to be strong this year and the guys are ready to go. Everyone has mistakes and we learn from it. And I look at it as stepping stones in life. And as I've gotten over it, I've gotten older and wiser. And, you know, I know what to do and what to say and, you know, how to carry myself. I feel we're going to make the, the city proud this year and the fans got our back. Right now, as I know, the Winton Hall family is still the owners. But at the end of the day, we're going to still go out there, do what we have to do and try to bring a great cup back to the city.